Speaking to post-traumatic stress syndrome, I've never been diagnosed. But I did have a period of time where I was a victim of repeated home invasions, where people would walk into my house sometimes while I was even there sleeping at night and steal from me. I was burglarized 10 to 15 times, don't have an exact count before we finally got it stopped. And this was over a period of time that lasted for approximately 18 months. And what I learned subconsciously uh, during that period of time is that it's not safe to sleep because they could come. And any time that I would catch a little bit of sleep, I would be jolted awake in the middle of the night looking for what I could use to defend myself from people who were walking into my house to do me harm. And it was a state of living that I was going through at that time. When it came to a crashing halt, my medicine at that time, cannabis, was taken away from me. And that's when the nightmares started. I kept going through these endless cycles of nightmares where I was trying to escape trying to get to something, a baseball bat, a wrench, or something to defend myself when claws were coming out of the floor, grabbing my feet and dragging me down. Over and over and over again. And I'd be wide awake for the rest of the night, standing guard, walking the property perimeter. When I was able to get back to my medicine, the cannabis, the nightmares stopped. For me, I know that it turns off the nightmares and lets me sleep. I know that because that's what stopped the nightmares. <coughs> the anecdotal evidence that floats around people talking to other people about what works for them is our state of affairs right now with the Medical Marijuana Act. There's very little. Uh, I congratulate uh, John Evans on being able to produce such a volume of science because the science is so thin in so many different areas that it's very difficult to come up with proper medical studies to illustrate those things that have been taking place. We all know the reasons why that these things haven't been taking place. There's such a heavy restriction on scientific examination, uh, clinical studies, things like that. At, with that in mind, I would beg that the board somehow come up with a mechanism where people who notice an effect of cannabis can go to some place on the internet and make their comment that this did this for me. So when the next condition comes up, the panel will be able to look at the database of public comments that have already taken place and see if there is something to this to ask at the last minute for public comment about this condition, it, it throws a bottleneck into the situation and it, and, it, and it greatly reduces the amount of information that the panel was able to digest. Please uh, reconsider the decision on PTSD. I know it makes it so that people can sleep. The results are strain dependent. You want something more of an indica rather than a sativa. The sativa makes it so that it is more energetic and you're less likely to sleep at that point and you'll be laying in bed wide awake thinking thoughts a mile a minute and that may explain some of the things, some of the problems related to patients report this, patients report that. A good indica variety will assist the sleep process, will drive you past the REM state and into a deep sleep state skipping over the nightmares. Thank you.